In this tutorial, we are going to self-publish an ebook to Google Play Books. I'm going to show you step by step. If you run into any problems, check the description as I likely probably have run into it as well. This tutorial assumes that you already have your account set up and that it's approved. I did run into some problems when I was setting up my account. Check the description if you need any help. Once you have login, click on Book Catalog. Then. Click on Add Book. Click on the arrow key here. There are several options. For this tutorial, we are going to sell an ebook on Google Play. So I'm going to select the first option. Then we're going to select a book ID. As you can see by the start next to it, it's required. I do not have my own ISBN. For ebooks, most platforms that I have used do not require an ISBN or they provide a free one. For example, Google Play, you can get something called Google Book ID or GG Key. I'm going to select the second one, get a Google Book ID. Then click on Save and Continue. One thing that I love about Google Play Books is the interface is so user-friendly. It's really smooth. I rarely run into any interface problems. I do run into technical problems, but otherwise, everything's great. And you can also save at any point and then come back to it. Right now, we are on the About the Book section. First, we need to enter the title. You can add the subtitle if you have one. Then the description. Next, language. You can select different languages here and change it as needed. Publisher. Enter the publisher's name here. Format. We are doing an ebook, which is already automatically selected. Page count, you can leave it blank and leave it up to Google, or you can enter the page count of your physical copy if you have one. This book does come in paperback, so I'm going to go ahead and enter the page count of the paperback. Enter the release date. If you have any questions, sometimes you see a little question mark icon that you can hover over and see the explanation. For this one, I'm going to leave it blank because it can be made available for sale immediately. Publication date. I do have a publication date for this one, so I'm going to go ahead and enter that. You can enter the minimum age and the maximum age if needed. I usually just leave that blank. Answer the question if this is for mature audience. Then you have an option that says related books. If we click on add a related book, you will see there are different options how the books are related. There's no related books for this one, so I'm going to go ahead and click on Save and Continue. Next, we are on the Genres page. Google Play Books use the BISAC system. BISAC stands for Book Industry Standards and Communications. It is a system that's used to categorize books. You can enter the genre name or the code. If you are not from North America, you can click on the arrow key and use the different systems here to enter the genre name or the code. I'll be using the BISAC system, so I'm going to go ahead and enter the name. This book is a Chinese storybook, so I'm going to go ahead and enter Chinese. And look for relevant categories. For example, foreign language study, Chinese. If you plan on publishing a lot, what I would do is to save the BISAC code, FOR003000. Save a list of the codes. Next time, I can just enter the code, and then I won't have to go through this. For example, if I click on Add a Genre, then I can just copy and paste the code here. And it immediately tells me that one option. If you are using this system for the first time, go ahead and enter words that are related to the book and then enter the categories. Once you have entered all the categories, go ahead and click Save and Continue. Under Contributors, I usually do two fields. One, the author. Enter the author name here, and then the biography. Then I add another one, and that is where I put Publisher. Your book information might be different from mine. You might only need author or other options here. There is a really long list that you can enter. 
Then click Save and Continue. Now we are on the series page. If the book belongs to a series, you can either add to the existing one or you can create a new one. I'm going to go ahead and skip this first because I want to finish set up the book first. You can always come back later if it's part of a series or you turn it into a series. For now, I'm going to go ahead and click continue. Here you can decide whether you want to apply DRM encryption. This is up to you. You can choose yes or no. Preview limit. Now you have the option to choose the percentage of the book that you want people to be able to preview. The minimum is 20%. You can go as high as 100%. That is, if you want to make the entire book available. Next, we have copy and paste limit. This allows the buyers to copy and paste. You have different options here. For these three options, I just leave the default setting on. Next, click show advanced settings. There are additional settings that you can adjust. Under the advanced settings, most of them, I leave them as they are, except the Google Book Search. That is where I do add additional information. Down here, you have the option to enter the name of site for printed book. And that is where you can enter the name of the site where a customer can purchase a print edition of this book directly from you. It will also be the first link displayed under Get This Book in Print in Google Books Search. Enter the name of your site rather than promotional text. This is handy if you have the print version of the book and or you want to link it to your own website. All these fields are optional. Once you are done with this page, click Save and Continue. Now we are done with the book info. These five sections are all under book information. Now we are on the content section. Over here, we want to click on Upload a File. This is where another part of Google Playbooks that is really friendly. You can simply drag and drop your files. Google accepts PDF, EPUB, ZIP, JPEG, PNG, and TIFF files. You can also see the uploading progress, which is really nice. Then click on Close when it's 100% uploaded. Now you see this table that says Pending Content. Here it says no issues. However, the status says processing. So we'll come back to this later on to check to make sure it has been processed. For now, we're going to click on continue. We are now on the book prices page. Now we are going to set our price for our book. Here, change the currency if needed, the book price, and then different regions if you need to change it. Normally, I just leave everything as it is. You can also click on Show Additional Settings to create a custom price from a certain date to another date. I don't use that, so I just leave that as it is. But the option is there if you want to use it. Next, I'm going to click on Save and Continue. Now, we are on the last page where we review and publish. Let's go ahead and take a look at content. It still says processing. In the past, there were times where it tells me that it's processing step one out of six or something like that. So for now, I'm going to let it do its thing and go to review, then click on publish. Even though it tells you congratulations, you've successfully added your book to Google Play and Google Books. It's actually not officially there yet. If we come to this page, the book that I just entered is the, the one that says title is missing. Even though the status says needs action, it actually doesn't. It doesn't need any actions from our end. It needs action from Google's end. Let's refresh this page. Let's click into it. Notice that it says your book is not live. If it has been more than 24 hours since you submitted this book, you can reach out to Google. With all the books I have published so far, I have a need to use this option. Usually it goes live pretty fast. In the past, problems that I have usually is with the content. Right now it still says processing, so we'll come back later and see how it goes. So it has been a few hours and I came back to check the status. This is what it should look like once it has finished processing, where it tells us there's no issues. Also, there's a time received timestamp there. And this is how we know the files have been processed successfully. And if I go to summary, 
I can see that it says your book is live on Google Play and Google Books. And over here are the links that we can click on to see what it looks like on Google Play and also on Google Books.